some women are worried if they can use a menstrual cup if they haven't given birth or haven't had any sexual experience. Hi guys, my name is Gian and welcome to my channel. In today's vlog, I'd like to share everything you need to know about menstrual cups. A menstrual cup is a little unpopular here in the Philippines and talking about period is a tabu. Parang nakakahiyang pag-usapan, ayaw natin na nalalaman ng ibang tao that we're on our period. But we have to understand that monthly period is natural and it's healthy. The reason why I launched my channel is because I want to influence more women to consider the use of reusable products. Because it is not only good for you, it is good for the environment and definitely good for your pocket. And for today, I'll be using the Marula OS for my illustration. Ano nga ba ang menstrual cup? A menstrual cup is a period product that you insert inside your vag. At hindi siya katulad ng pads and tampons na naga absorb Instead, it collects or it catches blood inside you. It is reusable. One cup can last for 10 years with proper care. Eco-friendly. Zero waste from day one up to the last drop of your monthly cycle. Studies have shown that one sanitary pad can last for 500 to 800 years to decompose. Or not at all. Grabe, de ba? And those plastic materials are not biodegradable and may cause environmental hazards and even health hazards in the long run. It is reliable. You can wear this for up to 12 hours and do the normal things that you usually do. Even while sleeping or swimming or while you're doing your workouts, you can rely on this cup. It is comfortable. As in super comfortable yung isuot. As long as you get the right cup and get the right size and get the right firmness, you wouldn't even feel that it's there. Or you'll even forget that you are on your period. It is soft. And flexible it molds to your body which allows you to do the things that you usually do unlike disposable pads na nagkocos ng rashes kahit na gano'ng kakadalis magpalit and during our period alam ko naman lahat tayo makakarelate lagi tayong irritable because we feel uncomfortable may cramps pang kasama di ba i know you understand but with menstrual cup it's so comfortable to the point na you would forget that you're on your period it's healthy and natural. If you will be using a menstrual cup, you'll be surprised na there's no foul smell. You won't even smell your blood. As in, hindi katulad ng pads na once is exposed to air, talagang maamoy mo talaga siya, di ba? But with menstrual cup, because of the seal it creates inside your vag, wala talagang amoy. Promise! It's naturally non-toxic and maintains the natural pH of your vag. And lastly, it's cost-saving. Sobrang tipid. I mean, medyo pricey ang isang branded na menstrual cup. Yes, you will spend a thousand or two for one cup. Pero just compute how much you're spending for menstrual products every month and each year. But you know what? One cup can last for up to 10 years. With proper care, isang cup lang. Computein mo na lang kung gaano kalaki yung matitipid mo dito. It will save you from the hassle of restocking your pads every month. You can now skip the sanitary pad section in the grocery. Bloody brilliant, right? Bloody brilliant. So no doubt, this is one of the wisest purchase na ginawa ko sa buong buhay ko. <laughs> Nagsisisi nga ako kasi bakit ngayon ko lang nalaman. Bakit ngayon ka lang sa buhay ko? Bakit ngayon ko lang nalaman? Ngayon ko lang nalaman na may menstrual cup pala. Di sana, nung teenager pa lang ako, nung una ako nagkaroon, ito na yung ginamit ko. I could have saved a lot of money sana na ginastos ko sa pads at hindi ko na pinagdaanan yung embarrassing moment na nagkakatagos ka. Diba? This is the best thing that has ever happened to my period. I can't even think of going back to disposable pads ever again. So why did I switch to menstrual cup? Because it is reusable, reliable, 
comfortable. I forgot. So why did I switch to menstrual cup? Because it is reusable, reliable, comfortable, natural, healthy, and cost saving. How to choose the right one? I mean, the right cup. Menstrual cup manufacturers usually categorize or base their sizing on age. Um, if a woman have given birth or how many babies have you had. But let me give you a more practical way kung paano ka makakapili ng right cup for you. Things to consider first is the height of your cervix. Pangalawa is your lifestyle. And then third is yung sensitivity mo down there. And the nature of your flow every month, kung light man yan, moderate or heavy, that should be the least of your priority in choosing the right cup. And taking the cup quiz should be the next step after mong magawa yun. So how do we measure our cervix height? The easiest way is to use the knuckle rule, wherein you can use your index finger or your middle finger to measure the height of your cervix. You will need to insert your finger inside your vag and uh, hanapin mo yung cervix mo. When you insert your finger, use your thumb to guide or to mark kung hanggang saan yung nai-insert mo inside your vag kapag nakapamo na yung cervix mo. Ang common na measurement na sinasabi nila is kapag hanggang dito sa first line, low yung cervix mo, middle um, line naman is average yung cervix mo, at kapag hanggang dito or hindi mo talaga makapa yung cervix mo, you have high cervix. But, I would say na for you to get the accurate measurement of your cervix, i-counter mo siya sa ruler or tape measure. So, don't just base it on the line of your fingers because we have different sizes of fingers. We have different length of fingers. So, i-check mo siya kung ilang centimeters siya and then convert it to millimeters. Uh, that way, you'll get an accurate size of your cervix. Now, how will you know kung cervix yung nakakapa mo or papano mo siya hahanapin? One of the common description of our cervix is yung feel ng tip ng nose natin. So, try mo i-touch yung tip ng nose mo and ganun yung uh, feel niya. Or you can also compare it with your knuckles kung alin dito yung pinaka-pronounced na parang may guhit sa gitna. And sometimes our cervix might feel pointy or round but again, it is soft but firm. Measuring your cervix should be done during your period and I would suggest you do it all throughout your period from day 1, day 2, day 3 hanggang sa matapos ang period mo. So, i-record mo kung gaano ka taas or kababa ang cervix mo. And the most important thing to take note of is how low your cervix sits during your period kasi doon natin ibibase yung pagpili natin ng cup. Because if you fail to check your cervix height, it would be difficult for you to find your Goldilocks cup. Bi sabihin ng Goldilocks cup, kapag ginamit mo yung cup, you shouldn't feel it at all. And it should really give you comfort. It should not be painful. It should not feel uncomfortable. There shouldn't be any leakage in using the right cup. Another thing to consider in choosing the right cup for you is your lifestyle and your sensitivity. If you have an active lifestyle, um, you're doing sports or your work or your job requires you to move a lot and you have a strong pelvic floor muscle then you can go for firm cups but if you have a sensitive bladder or um, you're experiencing incontinence kahit na slight lang yan when you sneeze or when you laugh then you might want to choose a softer cup instead and lastly consider the capacity of the cup as well if you're a light to moderate uh, bleeder, then small cups will be okay for you. Pero kung halimbawa na ikaw ay heavy bleeder, like you used to change your pads every three hours, um, then you might want to go for cups with bigger capacity. The sizing of a menstrual cup is not typically based on the size of your vagina. So don't get offended if ang nirecommend sa iyo ay large size or size 2 or extra large. Kasi yung capacity ng cup ay kinoconsider din, lalo na kung ikaw ay may heavy flow on your period. If you will be inserting your menstrual cup, there are several folds that you can use para mas maliit yung diameter niya for insertion. Hindi mo naman siya i-insert ng ganyan, okay? So huwag ka matakot. 
And the material is silicone, medical grade silicone, high quality. It is flexible and it is soft. And our vagina was designed to stretch and expand. Kung ang baby nga ka, siya doon ang menstrual cup pa kaya. Kaya yan, girl. Finding the right position to insert your menstrual cup is also important. You can either sit on the toilet or uh, one foot on the toilet. O kaya naman, pwede ka rin mag-squat. Um, yun. Just need to find the right position that will work for you so that you will feel comfortable in inserting and removing your menstrual cup. Now, if you'll ask me if you can pee and poop while your menstrual cup is in, yes, you can. We have three holes down there and your menstrual cup, ito yung nasa middle. So, no problem. Some women are worried if they can use a menstrual cup if they haven't given birth or haven't had any sexual experience. Guys, yes, you can use it. Anyone who menstruates, any women of all ages can definitely use this. I even know some teenagers, 13, 15 years old, who are already using a menstrual cup. Up, up, and away! Don't worry, it won't. It won't go anywhere. Wala siyang ibang pupuntahan ko di doon lang, okay? Kaya nga kailangan na alam mo yung cervix height mo para alam mo yung tamang cup o height ng cup or size ng cup para sa iyo. Kasi ang magiging challenge mo lang naman diyan kapag mali yung cup mo, it's either um it will poke out, no? Lalabas yung stem. O kaya naman, hindi mo siya marireach kasi sobrang taas ng cervix mo. So, don't worry. It won't go anywhere else. Huwag kang matakot doon. So, there you have it, guys. I hope you find this video helpful and interesting. Sana nagustuhan nyo at marami kayo natutunan. Please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel to keep you updated. Turn on the post notification bell so that on my next video, we'll see each other again. And I hope that you will also consider switching to reusable products or a menstrual cup in particular because it is good for you, good for the environment, and good for your pocket. It's never too late to make the switch.